fadeaway 15 footer gives it to Kirk. He'll go up for the top and get it. Wayman picked up by Carter Kirk. He's going to try and go coast to coast. He goes up with it and flushes it. Carter Kirk skies for the Mustangs. Hold up. Kirk to attack. Little pump fake, up and under, goes right at Bauman, shot up and in. Under <laughs> Carter Kirk, pump fake, left hander up and good and walk. Tries to pass, Cole Martin picks it off, he's trying to go coast to coast, one man to beat, fakes it up and under, hands off to Kirk, he flushes it again! Smithson hands off to Moan. Moen on the right side, splits the defense, he'll go strong, layup up and good for Turner Moen! Kick out, wide open triple for Moen, is up and good for Turner Moen! And the ball stolen by MJ Delmore behind the back pass. Moan pump fake will go up and I'll count it. Will they? I think they did. Fire a three over Pagel. That's up and good for Turner Moan. Joey stops, goes back over to Nate. He'll fire a three from the left wing. Call for Nate Hewitt. Put to Wegg. Wegg, he's doubled. Kick out Hewitt. Great look at a three. He'll fire it something. Call for Nate Hewitt. Hewitt will fire a three and hit it from the left side.
Elwood's got the ball, pitches it out. Long range three is good. Deep left corner, MJ Delmore, their uh, little freshman point guard. second half. Osmondson to Delmore driving, scoring. Little guy got all the way into the lane, threw it high off the glass. They give it to Delmore. MJ behind the back in the paint. Pump fake spins to the baseline. Wow, what a move by MJ. A little hesitation goes with a layup and he gets it. Bartlett, the kick out, and the three by Delmore got another one. In the left corner, it is uh, Bartlett, and, and so Bartlett with his first two, and it's 8-5 Mustangs. It's Mitch Wegg fakes the handoff, pitches out to Bartlett, shoots the three, got it. It's now 16-5 Mustangs. Bartlett in the paint, left side, left hander up. Here's the drive, the pitch out. Bartlett with a three, scored it over Rivers. Bartlett, three of them. Three for three from downtown and 11 points. Southwest Minnesota State works the perimeter. Bartlett on a three. Totally unguarded, Matt. Man. Bartlett, Bartlett. 
Bartlett lobs it ahead, throws it ahead for Osmondson. He'll run it down, lay up, up and go. Osmondson goes right by Chartier, lay up, up and good for Drew. Robinson, uh, left hand layup is good. Beautiful take by Drew. Dishes down low in the layup, and that was way too easy for Mitch Wegg off the assist from Delmo. Southwest in the early offense, reverse layup is good. All the way under the goal, Mitch Wegg for the finish. Six and a half to go in the game. Wegg in the paint against Pittsburgh. Puts it up and down. In a bounce pass. Wegg backs in against Pittsburgh. Jumper in the paint and scores it. Mitch Wegg. the paint nice finish inside and an and one for Travis Minders showed some strength there the senior out of Worthington Minnesota Minders Minders fakes the three he'll go left side left hand layup foul got it in one Foul, don't get it. Now Miners will fire three over Bam, and it go for Travis Minders. There's Miners trying to race Wagner down, lay a up and go for Travis.
Darren Smith got hung up on a screen. The shot on the way is good. A three by Cole Martin. Martin has seven points at Omaha Creighton Prep. Corner drains another three. 12 points for Martin. The Comes out out of Martin in that the foul line has shields in the air, puts one up and in, and a four to three lead by Southwest Minnesota State. And a hanging jumper by Cole Martin. Pump fake, he'll bring it back out. Nope, between the legs, puts up a teardrop. Ah! And a bad pass picked off. The other way is Cole Martin with a... This little scoop lay in, and it's now a six to three lead for Southwest Minnesota State. Uh, so My favorite memory from this year, uh, playing in Nebraska. Uh, favorite memory has to be going down to Nebraska. Just That's probably the most fun I've ever had playing basketball, playing in front of all, all those fans and uh, all my family and friends. Just seeing what a D1, high D1 facility looks like and how they run their things, run their practices. Um, that, was, that was incredible, that was a great time. I would say my favorite memory would have to be going down to Oklahoma. The ride was terrible, personally. It was great team bonding. We got to eat some new places. We got to listen to Sean talk nonsense on the whole way down and back. Um, he's, he's a true character. He, he keeps, the, keeps the entertainment levels pretty high. Uh, favorite memory from this year would be probably at Bemidji. Uh, we were down most of the game, 10 to 15 points, and then we just kept tripping away, um, made some plays, bench got into it a little more and pretty soon we're up and came back and I think that was a pretty significant win for us this year. You know, just uh, that was one of the things you can, de we, uh, you can definitely build off of knowing uh, just that no matter where you're at in the game, you can always, uh, you just keep working, keep playing for that next possession and we, you can find a way to come back in the game and that's what we, that's what we got done against Bemidji and yeah, that's gotten my best memory. Uh, my favorite memory was probably our Hawaiian night. I'd have to say the atmosphere of a Hawaiian night. Just the way we came together and ended up beating a pretty good team. Um, probably Nick and Tram playing in practice. Oh, uh, okay. I I'll do my Tram. Uh, Coach, Coach Barnes. Uh, sometimes they would have to help with practice. Tram used to, I mean, Tram was played when I was a redshirt freshman, but uh, He's lost a step. He's lost a step uh, since becoming a coach. I don't think he works out as much anymore or at all. Tram would come in and turn the ball over, so he just kept turning the ball over. Uh, you know, he'd make some, make some turnovers in practice, and he just turned the ball over all the time. And he kind of got the nickname of Turnover Tram, and we always gave him crap for that. And he hated it, and he hated us making fun of him, but that he kept doing it, so I'm gonna keep calling him that. Whenever Nick would get a bad low pass from Taylor or someone like that, then he'd always yell at him because he can't bend over because of his back. And then Nick would take Colin out and call plays for himself. So then, I don't know, they're trying to relive the glory days or something, but... Um, I'd have to say Coach Bigler, he came in one day and he shows a picture of him holding two guns. He said he went uh, coyote hunting. And then he told us the real story about it because he said he was shooting. In reality, he was just the one holding the flashlight so the other guys could shoot. <laughs> it was with me and Bigler, and he thinks he's a tough guy. He likes to try to scare us. He, he always hides around corners and tries to jump out and scare us. 
and he was he's been trying to get get me for a while. I'd say he's kept past couple years, and I ended up getting him back pretty good one time. Uh, I knew he was coming, so I, I hit around the corner and I, I gave him a good old shout and made him jump pretty good. So then I was on high alert the next couple days, and I was one of the last ones leaving the gym after practice, and the door shut and there's one other person ahead of me and Bigler living out first and it just hit me. I'm like, I'm not going out that door first. So I was like, here, you go ahead first. I can't remember who it was, but they went first and Bigler scared the crap out of him. So he's still been trying to get me. So I'm, I'm always on high alert. Like I said, he's resilient. Um, he doesn't ever stop. Hard working. I say hard working. Beast. Beast. Muscle. Trustworthy. Oh, jacked. Maybe would be one. Well, Travis was always lifting extra all the time. Season we do two lifts a week, and uh, Travis would be in there after, you know, we already broke down as a team. Some of us are going to eat, some of us are going home, and Travis is doing extra squats. And, you know, he would show up the next day to practice, and he'd tell us how his legs are sore, and we're like, well, why are your legs sore? You know, we didn't lift any legs. But then when you realize he's in there squatting, you know, three plates every other day, I mean, it's just, it's insane. I think it's just really funny that every single time he has something to eat that's not like chicken or everyone will be like, oh Travis has to go do 500 sit-ups to work it off. I just think that's funny. Basically every day is a different story. It's kind of like, I'm his roommate, I don't know, he'll, he'll be there, he'll be studying in his room and I'll just come in there for a few minutes and try to distract him as long as I can before he, or before I get the Okay, Drew, it's time to, time to go back to work, and I'll, and I'll leave him alone, but that's basically the story. Bye. Uh, for me, brother. Pretty. Pretty boy. Interesting. Clown. Hair. Hair. Uh, hair. High bun. We were, at a, we were on a road trip, uh, we were in that subway, and uh, we were talking, he was telling us about his YouTube video, we'd never seen it, and uh, he showed it to us, it was called like Cole's Pass, I think, and he's just coming down court in high school, and turns and looks to the left side and throws it to nobody, throws it out of bounds. During the games, during games, we'd both be in, and there would be like a basic defensive rebound that was really easy. There was no, it wasn't like there was the other team, but one of us, we would always go out of our way to take a rebound from the other one. So there were like three or four times, like Cole doesn't even care about rebounds. It's not even his thing. He doesn't do it, but he would go out of his way to take my, like a rebound that was coming right to me. And then he would look at me and be like, I got you. Like, I took your rebound from me. I was like, come on, man. Like, I need that. It's all I have. And he would steal it from me constantly and then just laugh at me like as we're running up the court. Um, Cole and Sean, they live together. They Sean's girlfriend bought a cat. Sean was begging Cole to let them have a cat at their place. And Cole was so against it like the first week. And about a week into it, that weekend, Cole was sending out Snapchats to everyone about how much he loved the cat and how much fun he was having with the cat. So I, I thought that was pretty funny. I want to thank my parents, uh, my sisters, uh, my grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, teammates, coaches, uh, the city of Marshall, the school. Um, I know I'm forgetting somebody, but it's there's a lot. I've had a great time here, and I've had great people in my corner helping me all the way. Yeah, I would like to, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to continue my collegiate career here. I definitely Bigler for doing a good job of recruiting me, giving me the opportunity to play here, and big thanks to Laura for keeping me healthy. I know it was a grind. I kind of went through some, some tough stretches this year, but Laura did a great job of keeping me healthy and going. And then I'd like to thank my parents and all my family and friends for and teammates for all the support they've had and given me throughout this year to keep me going and being there for me.